I mentioned we make it from the sun, so typically UVB radiation is the reason why I always talk about this. Uh, we make it from UVB radiation exposure. It's finished. It's made from skin. And um, but you know, there's certain times of the year, depending on where you live, maybe on northern latitude, where that UVB isn't going to be passed here. We are making records. Also, if you have darker skin, melanin protects you. Like the whole, you know, people with darker skin, these people um, from maybe Africa or India or South Asia, they're more equatorial regions. They're closer, you know, closer in England and Wales are four times more likely to die of COVID 19 than, than us. When they, when they adjusted all that data for socioeconomic status and for other health factors, they were two times more likely to die. So clearly, socioeconomic status and other health factors account for there's something else unidentified. And I think it's vitamin D. I think that, you know, so, you know, the vitamin D, what it has, look, vitamin, I'm not saying that vitamin D is going to prevent you from getting COVID-19 or there are people with low baseline vitamin D levels, the people that were less deficient, they were 50% less likely to have a respiratory tract infection because they were taking a vitamin D supplement, over 50% actually. And people that have already normal levels still had protective effects and 10% less so even people that were already considered normal, taking the vitamin D supplement to help with the respiratory tract. Can you take too much of it? You know, it's not it's not like the old days when we were out hunter gatherer and out in the summer like, oh, we're here about forty five all the time. We're in school, we're here for work, in our office, in our cubicle. Um, so the CDC, you know, obviously there's been studies showing that African Americans can get it, but they didn't even correct for tons of like other factors. So socioeconomic status is important. Uh, health, other health factors, you know, and uh, but there was a big study just released not long ago from from like the National Office of Statistics in Britain or something like percent more than five percent of the human protein encoding human genome. That's a lot. Of, that's a choice. That's hormone. Like can you imagine just walking around without testosterone? You're a man. That's hormone. I mean, like because there's a lot of people that are deficient in vitamin D. It's a steroid hormone. It's converted into a hormone. Like this isn't just a vitamin, you know? It, it's important. It's really important. Um, so I went off on the tangent. But anyways, uh, what, can I ask you this one more on this? Yeah. Thing? What is happening? What is, what is happening? That are now on the alignment of the Some of the surgeons. That's just the statistics that you already listed about vitamin D and the people that have COVID 19. They were insane. It's insane. And also in Sweden, there's a huge population of Somalis that have migrated to Sweden, and they have been identified as being severely vitamin D deficient because a lot of the Somalis have also could also uh, that autism rates are really high there, and it's linked to the high population of autism. Because your body sort of develops its own ability to absorb more vitamin D. Exactly. So what happens when you take a break? What happens when you take a person from from South Asia, from India, from Africa? And you put them in Sweden or in Minnesota or in the UK, and a, a place where UVB radiation doesn't hit most of the year, and you don't give them the supplement, what happens is they become severely vitamin D deficient. Severely. And what happens when you take, I mean, I mean you can throw this on the, on, you can flip, flip this over and say, okay, what happens when you take this guy from the UK to Brit and put him in Australia, like without any sunscreen or without?